training. All right. Had to fix the camera a little bit. All right, so basically what I want to do today, today is going to be my Q&A. As I promised, I was going to post on my social media and my, and my YouTube. So basically here it is. Um, I got some, I got a decent amount of, of comments, good questions, like always, um, pertaining to the fitness, supplements, and what have you. The bottom line is, people, is that I'm doing this and I, and I, and I do this because there are and there is a, it's a younger generation out there who just don't, know, just don't know what's going on. They have no clue. Um, they need help. And, and quite frankly, the people who's been doing it for a while, um, you know, some people have been doing it for years and just still don't know exactly what to do. So, you know, this is why I do the Q&A's to help out everybody um, on that note. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get right into it. I mean, um, and I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be doing this a lot often. Um, I think it's like my second or third one that I've done on the channel. Um, and I'm going to be doing these a lot more because, like I said, it's, it's helping out a lot of people. Okay, so, like I said, let's jump right into it. From Man Victor. Okay. Um, it's from Man Victor. He says, should I lift heavy when getting older? I don't know exactly how old he is. But I am getting that a lot. There's people in the gym when I work out as well. Should you lift heavy um, while you're getting older? Okay, so here's my thing about it. Depending on your age, your body is going to tell you everything you need to know, period. Um, if it gets to the point where you start lifting heavy, like we all do sometimes, um, and then all of a sudden you start getting like aches and pains, and I don't mean a good pain, I mean a bad pain. Um, and if you're a little up in age, I would say upper 30s, 40s, you know, 50 range, I wouldn't even say 50, I would say upper 40s, um, start to scale it back. What you want to do is, Victor, you want to, anytime you have to scale it back, you want to make sure you get high volume. Um, so pick a weight that is, that's moderate, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're hitting your reps. Focus on anywhere between 12 to 15 reps. Get the blood in the muscle. That's how you're going to stay in shape, burn fat. Get your cardio in. Believe it or not, when you do a lot of reps, you do hit cardio. A lot of people don't know that. Um, so if you need to scale it back, do that. Um, and just pick a moderate weight. Don't go light. Go moderate. Um, and that way you can focus on um, getting resistance, quality resistance, and also getting the reps in that you need. Okay? Hope that answers you, Victor. All right. Next question from my man Mark. He says, how many hours of sleep should I get for recovery? Um, I mean, it honestly depends on your lifestyle, right? Um, if you have, you know, a nine to five and you're trying to squeeze in your workouts and stuff like that. Um, me personally, I would shoot from anywhere between, you know, six to eight hours of sleep. Now, I know a lot of people can't get eight hours of sleep and I, that's understandable. However, you do need to get at least six hours because um, as we all know, you know, forget everybody else is saying, as we all know, um, sleep is very, very important to the human body in general. And, 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 and when it comes to lifting, that's where the majority at you're going to get your, your, uh, your recovery from, okay? So um, don't forget that sleep is very important. So shoot for six to eight hours of sleep, okay, Mark? Next question from my man, Brian. Okay, he says... I've been training natural all life. Should I take enhancements? Some Brian. Um, to be honest with you, Brian, I don't really, I don't know you, right? Um, I don't know your body structure. I don't recommend any kind of like enhancements or steroid uses. Um, I never have in my life. Um, and I've gotten great results. Um, just check out some of my videos if, you know, if you want to check out how I look. Um, but, I've gotten great results, um, so I don't really necessarily say that's needful. I would say, and I would shoot for stay natural as much as you can, um, and you and keep training with intensity and train hardcore and train hard. Okay, that's the thing. Until you start getting up in age, then you want to scale it back, and even then, you can train hard by focusing a lot of reps, a lot of sets, by getting the blood in the muscle. Okay, um, so like I say, that's my take on it. Okay. Next question is from Rob. 
you have a you have a great YouTube channel with good content. Should I start a YouTube channel? That's from Rob. Um, a lot of people seem to be going it's going towards YouTube now, um, but but a lot of people is not giving the the right advice uh, when it comes to YouTube. Or I would say not advice, but just a heads up. Um, YouTube is a platform that's where it's work involved. It's a lot of work. It's not just Instagram where you can just post a picture, hashtag it, and call it a night. That's not it. You got to deal with editing. You got to deal with consistency. Your your, your videos got to be quality. Um, you still got to know what to talk about, how to talk about. I mean, all this stuff plays a key role in having a successful YouTube channel, okay? So it, it, it's work. If you want to start a YouTube channel, do it. However, just know, don't treat it like your average um you know, social media platform because it's not YouTube is work. Okay. All right. Next question from Ashley. How should I take my protein? Okay. I don't know what she mean by that. Um, but I'm assuming like what time, when she's able to take protein. Um, I'm just going to give you what I do, Ashley. Protein. Um, majority of the time, if I don't have a good breakfast, I take a shake in the morning time um, before or after my breakfast, typically before breakfast. Um, egg whites, you know, all that good stuff. Oatmeal. Um, and then what I do is I typically do it at night after my dinner. So I typically take about two shakes a day, um, morning time, after breakfast, and typically what I do is after dinner, I chase it. Um, or on my workout days, I typically chase it after my workout because it takes me about a half an hour to get to the gym. Well, to home from the gym. Um, so I want that. Some, I want my body to start recovering as I'm um, driving home. So depending on what you look for, that's the best way that works for me. Um, as long as you're getting your calories in, you're getting your real food in, um, and you supplement, supplement, not first priority, um, a shake when you need to, you should be good to go, okay? Next question from John. What other options are there for pre-workout? I mean, to be honest with you, John, I don't know what other options. Um, I'm just gonna tell you what I do. What I do is, um, I don't take pre-workout all year round. I do take it from time to time when I'm feeling like I need an extra boost. Some people take pre-workout when they do, when they up, when they down, when they feeling okay, when they when they do, you don't need to take off pre, pre workout like that. Um, take it when you're down. Now, other options, um, if you're a coffee drinker, there's there, there's there's all type of like coffee you can drink. I don't recommend like hot coffee. But you know, here's the deal. I'm gonna say this really quick. There's all type of pre workouts, right? So there's not one workout. You don't need an extreme. If, if you type that's really tolerant of, of caffeine, you don't need an extreme pre-workout right there's mild there's medium and there's that on the on the high side of of caffeine um make sure you pick the one that fits you that suits you again everybody body is different right so make sure you pick the right one for you you know that's that's my best alternative if not you can throw in some coffee and get that stimulant before you head out if you're a morning trainer you get that coffee in you that breakfast you should be good to go okay anything with caffeine in it should work for you. Just know your tolerance level, okay? All right, so the next question is gonna be from Saw. S-A-W, Saw. What's up, Saw, how you doing? Um, he says, what should I do to increase muscle mass? People get that a lot, don't they? <laughs> uh, what should you do? For one, eat a lot. And when I say eat a lot, I'm talking about good foods okay i'm not talking about your cheeseburgers your mcdonald's your your, your kfc you know because the only thing that's going to do is it's going to get you mass all right fat mass okay you want to eat a lot of good foods and i understand some of people who don't like to cook they don't cook they don't know how to cook okay cool meal prep get make you big big meals get you some to-go containers put them in the um put them in to-go containers Freeze them, uh, and then start unthawing them each day when you want to eat them, okay? There, there's always other ways besides just cooking and eating, cooking and eating um, right away. So 
my advice to you is get you a nice protein um, that, can, that you can supplement with, um, but you want to target for high calories, okay, but good quality food with high calorie, um, calories, okay? Now, when it comes to your training, your training should be both. This is what I do. You go heavy, okay? You want to you want to go heavy on your on your on your reps, okay? And then pyramid up heavy, and then what you want to do is scale it back down to get your hypertrophy, to get your your reps in, okay? So for example, if let's say bench press, okay? You want to do bench press, okay? Start pick a weight. Obviously, after you warm up good properly, pick a weight that you can do anywhere between 12 to 15 reps. Okay, after that, put the weight down, increase the weight that you can do anything 8 to 10. Okay, after that, drop the weight. Um, your next set, after you properly rest, um, 60 seconds is typically my goal. But after that, pick a weight that you can do 6 to 8, and so on and so forth until you get to that fourth rep, especially if you're training by yourself. After that, you're not done. Go the opposite way, okay? Start again with that same weight that you did four reps. Increase the weight. Uh, well, start decreasing the weight that you can start going up in reps, okay? Um, mm -hmm. That's my best way of, um, of doing it, okay? Um, that works best. All right, last question I got from Jacob. I don't like chicken and beef. What... What can I eat for protein? Okay, well, to be honest, if you don't like chicken and beef, there's always fish. Get yourself a nice um, protein, quality protein. Um, get yourself right, rice, brown rice. Get yourself some nuts. Eat nuts. Nut, people don't know this, but a lot of peanuts and nuts pack protein in it, okay? Um, how you think vegans do it? How you think vegetarians do it, okay? Beans, eat a lot of beans, pinto beans, black eyed peas. Um, get your beans in. That type of stuff holds protein. Um, basically, long story short, since you're not a chicken or beef eater, um, you, you are limited to what you can consume, but you gotta make sure you supplement that with your vegetables, like, like peanuts, beans, and, and those of that nature, okay? So make sure you hit your protein. And also, like I said, some, some, somebody like you needs a protein for sure because that's going to help you supplement that you couldn't get in through the day with real food okay I sit and that's all I got right now um, for my q and um, hoping everybody having again a phenomenal day um, I'm gonna be doing this a lot more so and what I'm gonna start doing is like I did for this one uh, I'm gonna send notices to everybody throughout my social media so everybody know like my Instagram and stuff go follow me on truth and results training um, Snapchat, same thing. Um, and like I said, let's push for it. Um, and I'll let everybody know when I'm going to be making a video so you guys can send me videos or a DM me on on your questions, I should say, because then I know how to answer it, okay? And don't forget to leave your first name. You don't got to leave me your last, your first name. Um, and other than that, you guys have a phenomenal day. And uh, check out these photos that I'm going to put up here. Um, so that way you will see exactly how I train naturally. Um, and basically how I look right now, all natural. I've been training for going on 12 years, and this is how I look, okay? Right now I'm weighing in close to 200 pounds, solid, lean, mass, all right? Hope everybody having a good day, like I said before. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, because like I said, you're going to miss out if you don't. I got a lot dropping, and I got a lot coming. Talk to you guys later. Peace.